Ever get stuck staring at your filament stash, wondering which one you should use? It's like standing in front of your fridge at midnight. Too many options, none of them seem right. Don't worry, I'm gonna break it down so you know exactly what filament works for your next project. This is gonna be a great video. This is going to be a great video. <laughs> Let's start with the big three, PLA, PETG, and ABS. PLA is like the comfort food of filament. It's easy, it looks good, and comes in more colors than a bag of Skittles. It's perfect for miniatures, props, and decorative parts. The downside is PLA is a little brittle. Put a decent amount of weight on it, and it will snap like a breadstick. PETG is sort of like a middle child. Tougher than PLA, and less moody than ABS. Great for brackets, tool holders, and things you may want to leave outside. And then there's ABS. Strong, heat resistance, and they're used in things like Lego bricks. But here's the catch, it warps more than Wi-Fi during a thunderstorm. And the fumes, let's just gonna say you're gonna really want some good ventilation. Unless you enjoy explaining to your family why your makerspace smells like a chemical lab. Now let's talk about specialty filaments. TPU is flexible, it's kind of like rubber. You make phone cases, gaskets, and 3D printed shoes if that's your vibe. It's a little squirrely to print with though, but that's TPU. Nylon is super strong, but it absorbs water like a sponge. Leave it out and you'll have crackling in your print head like bacon in a frying pan. Nylon is good for mechanical parts, functional prototypes, or things like tool handles. Carbon fiber blends are fancy. Strong, stiff, and super professional looking. But remember, they'll eat your brass nozzle for breakfast. Always use a hardened steel nozzle with them unless you enjoy printer maintenance. And then there's your specialty fun filaments. Silk, glow in the dark, wood, and things like marble or stone. These aren't really strong, but they'll keep your print looking amazing. So they're great for decorative parts. Glow in the dark dice tower? Sure! Just don't expect it to survive falling off the table during a really intense D&D game. So how do you know what filament is right for you? Ask yourself a few questions. Is this decorative or functional? For decorative parts, go with PLA. Functional parts, you should go with PETG or ABS. Does it need a handle, stress, or heat? Nylon, PETG, and ABS are your buddies. Does it need flexibility? TPU will be your best friend. Want an easy print experience? PLA. Need something tough? PETG. Basically, it's like picking a Pokemon. PLA is Pikachu. Pet G is Charizard, strong all around. ABS, that's sort of like Mewtwo. Powerful, but a pain to control. TPU is sort of like Ditto, it's gonna flop around and take on any shape. Before you start printing, here's a couple of other survival tips. Not all printers can handle high temp materials like ABS or nylon. Don't push your printer past its limits. Abrasive filaments like carbon fiber and glow in the dark will grind down your brass nozzle like a toddler chewing on crayons. Keep your filament dry because moisture will wreck your print faster than your cat jumping on your printer mid-job. And always do a small test print before committing to a big print. It's better to waste 10 grams of filament than an entire spool. So the right filament comes down to what you need it for. PLA, easy to print and cool down. PETG for strong, reliable parts. ABS and nylon for heat and durability. TPU when you want to create some bendy things. And specialty filament when you want to show off. Try different filaments and you'll be ready for any quirks that come your way. Hey, and if this video helped you out, hit the like button. Also, drop in the comments below your worst filament disaster. Was it a spaghetti monster? A print that glued itself to the nozzle? Or your printer deciding it wanted to make some abstract art? For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. Oh, and remember, every spool of filament you load is one step closer for making your ideas a reality.